Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about one-step equations, and we're going to solve each equation. So, if I was given this equation, negative 16 plus x equals a negative 15. Well, I have addition going on here, right? But that's a little tricky, because what I have here is that negative 16, right? How do I get rid of that negative 16? Well, maybe if I rearrange this, maybe that's a little easier to see. So I have x first plus a negative 16 equals a negative 15. Now that be, might be easier to see. So adding a negative is the same thing as subtraction. x minus 16 equals negative 15. Ah, now we can see it, right? Adding a negative is the same thing as minus. So if I add a 16 to both sides, that's opposite of that subtraction. Now, you don't have to do all these steps, all right? A lot of people can recognize it from the beginning, but I wanted to write it out so you can see. So we have x equals, well, negative 15 plus 16. We know that's going to be a positive 1. Why? Look at the number line here, right? We start with negative 15. Negative 15, we add 15 units to that. To the right, we get to 0. One more unit plus 1 gives me to uh, uh, 16, right? So an overall distance of plus 16. So we end at 1, a positive 1. So our final answer is x equals 1. So let's recap. We start with negative 16 plus x equals negative 15. You don't have to do all the steps I just did, right? Right there, I recognize that I have to add a 16 to both sides to get rid of that negative 16. But some people need to see it out. Re uh, use a commutative property to rewrite this to be x plus a negative 16, and add in a negative, same thing as subtraction. So we have x minus 16. I bring it down negative 15 the whole time. Now we can add a 16 to both sides. That's opposite of subtraction. And we knew from our little uh, number line trick here that negative 15 plus 16 came out to be a positive one. Now you didn't even do the number line trick, but if you wanted to, you could. Uh, sometimes I don't use it, sometimes I do. So we're left with uh, x equals 1, which is our final answer.